Hello everyone, today I'm making apple crumble and here I have six large apples, green apples. I'm going to peel this and then cut it up. It's about 1.3 kilograms of apples to be precise and we'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've peeled the apples and cut it into pieces. You see there? Not too big, nice small little pieces. And it's gonna go into my pan. And it obviously weighs way less now because the core and the peels are, are gone, are cut off. Um, a dash of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. One cup of Sunny. Let's just hang on guys. <sighs> It was my wobble, sunny boy. <laughs> uh, one cup of water. So remember, six apples, the large apples, peeled, cored, and cut into small pieces. A uh, squeeze of uh, fresh lemon juice. A cup of water. Half a cup of sugar. Two cinnamon sticks. Hi, sunny boy, man, frikadel. <laughs> And if you don't have the cinnamon sticks, you can use, you can take the half, half a cup of sugar and add one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, ground cinnamon, sorry, and you can add that in. That's the two options. Okay. And now we're just going to cook this. until the apples are nice and soft and there's no liquid absolutely as little liquid as possible hi sunny boy <laughs> it's dirt day today guys <laughs> forgive me i'm also going to add a tablespoon of butter pure butter now what happens when you put in just the cinnamon sticks you'll have this light colored uh, apple when it's done cooking right and if you throw in your cinnamon powder and sugar with this it will be a darker color okay now this is just gonna cook and we'll be right back okay the apples is cooking away but I just want to show you how the color changes if you add um, cinnamon ground cinnamon and this is just the mixture of the sugar and the cinnamon. Yeah, this is just optional. Eh? I'm just showing you the color. How it changes. Mm. Now you'll see it's still hard by pressing in and make sure to cook it until it's soft because if it's still hard and you put it in your crumble while you uh, bake it in the oven that water that liquid in the apple will be released and then you'll get a, a kind of a soggy soggy apple crumble and we don't want that okay and we'll be right back okay guys there's no lights <laughs> so the the light has changed so the apples I've cooked for 30 minutes, I needed to add a little bit more water midway through just to finish the cooking process. And you'll see it's like almost mushy. See? Now I'm going to switch over the heat. And I'm going to take the apple filling out into a separate bowl so it can cool off completely. And the next step is I'm going to make the the dough, the biscuit dough, <laughs> and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, now I'm going to make the biscuit dough for the apple crumble. And first things first, this is 150 grams of room temperature butter. Let's loosen this up a bit. <laughs> okay, that wasn't soft enough, but. Okay. 
Okay, so if it sticks, just lift it up. Now I'm going to add three quarter cups of sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla essence, and I'm going to just beat this until it's a nice, light, and creamy texture. Okay, next I'm, I'm going to add one egg and mix that as well together. Okay, now I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder and two cups of normal cake flour and we're going to bring that together to form a dough okay because I'm going to go in with my clean hands to just finish it off and bring it all together so this is just your basic biscuit dough. It's a nice, a soft, uh, like a bros. You want that, okay? I'm gonna go in and just finish off and bring it together, okay? So you'll see, it's a nice soft dough. And what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm going to take a piece. This is to grate over, and this is for the base of the. Take, let me see. This we both cling wrap, and I'm going to show you now how to do it. Okay, guys, so the dough is done, the biscuit dough. I'm going to take a piece of cling wrap, and you'll see I've divided it in one, a bigger ball and then a smaller ball about palm the hand size and then a bigger one just eyeball it okay and i'm gonna close this this part we put in the freezer yes the freezer and we're going to use this and grate it afterwards and this part you put in the fridge this part we're going to roll out and put that the base of your baking baking pan. Okay, freezer, fridge. Next tip is when we come back, this is nice, it's nice and stiff. This is frozen, and we're gonna put everything together and then we're gonna bake the apple crumble okay guys and i'm just gonna roll out the bigger piece of of biscuit dough and what i do is the cling wrap it was in i open it and then i put another piece on top and i just roll it out okay and we'll be right back okay so i've uh, sprayed my pan this is a 30 by 33 uh, metal pan if you're gonna bake it in a glass round or square a baking pan then you have to bake it a little bit longer 10 minutes extra so now I'm just gonna pull this part off and the rest of the way I'm just going to manipulate it with my fingers and just stretch it out okay with my there we go Whatever parts we just pull it okay, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so now I just want to show you um, this is the round glass, uh, what you can also use to bake it in. I also have the square one, and just remember each one conducts heat differently. So, if you're going to bake it in these, you just have to bake it for an extra 10 to 15 minutes, okay? This one. So. And now I'm going to put the apple filling in. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, and my oven is heating, preheating on 180 degrees Celsius. And we're going to bake this for 35 to 40 minutes, depending. Remember, all ovens are not the same. What we want, ideally, is a nice brown, golden brown topping. Okay. Every up until the corners. Uh, you can add uh, chopped uh, walnuts or pecan nuts. You can add raisins at this stage to give it that nice texture, that crunch. This is entirely up to you. Okay. Don't have to waste. There we go. Now you see, nice and hard, firm. Take it out, and now we're gonna grate it on top of this mixture. Let me just show you how I do it. Oh, you never forget how now is this. Okay, just the side, and you just grate. I used to, um, when my late mother used to make this, and she would show us how. I used to sit in awe and just watch her do this. Go up, go up, finish. And of course, as time would go on, she'd give us the tasks like these. And then another few months would pass, and she'll give us the task of making the dough. And then she'll give us the task of making the apple filling. And so it goes on, and that's how we learn. You don't have to necessarily do everything at once. If you have any kids, you can teach them. One second. Okay, and there it's done. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. And when we come back, um, I'll take this out and I'll cool it a bit. And then dust some icing sugar on top. Okay, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, it's out of the oven. Still slightly warm. You can see the, the apple and the little spaces in between. Nice and golden brown. You yummy. So good. Of course. I'm gonna just get some icing sugar. Okay. And there you go, apple crumble done. Serve it on its own. You can serve it with custard, you can serve it with ice cream, vanilla ice cream, fresh cream, whatever you like, okay? And there it is, apple crumble. Hope you enjoyed that video. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye everyone.